so I want you guys to look at something. Like, just, just, just look at it. Look at it. Look at it! What's up guys, Bearded here, and welcome to this week's Sunday Scratch. Um... Last week I talked more about my schedule, I'm not even going to mention that because I feel like I've talked about it way too much because not only did I mention it in that last episode, I also mentioned it, ow my shoulder. <laughs> that is one thing I will be talking about, but um, yeah, not only did I mention the vi my upload schedule in last week's Sunday Scratch, I also mentioned it the, this past Friday. I think it was, yeah, this past Friday because I missed uh, GTA 5 and I just explained it, but I'm going to stop mentioning that now. But this week we're going to talk about my health. There is good and there is bad. Um, they might start out bad and you might think, oh my god, what's happening? But it's turning out for the better now, except for the shoulder. But basically what happened was during the holidays I went to see my, um, I guess technically it's my mom's home now, but my dad was there at the same time because my parents are... They are getting divorced. They're not. It's not official yet, but they're not living together anymore. And they, I mean, they live like five hours apart now because of where my dad works and my mom wants to stay with the the house where she's at now because uh, she wants to sell it before she goes anywhere. But I think it was within the first week that I was there. We had breakfast. I think we had like an omelet or something, and. <laughs> It was probably way too descriptive, <laughs> but basically I, I had my omelet, I brought my dishes to the counter, and the way the setup is in this house, it's like, um, I might put up like a drawing on the screen, because I, I, I don't know how to explain it with my hands, but basically you got your dining room, you got your sitting room, you got your kitchen, and then you got the stairs, all in one gigantic room and lots of windows so there's lots of sunlight coming in but then close to the stairs and close to the kitchen is an arc way there's no door it's just an arc and it goes out into this small hallway yeah basically I, after I put my dishes on the counter I walked out into the hallway I don't know why I did and then I started coming back because um, when I went out into the hallway I realized that I was having a uh, panic attack and I've been having quite a few of them. I just haven't been really telling you guys that about them much or even having them in my videos. Like I've <clears throat> I'll have them sometimes when I'm recording and I cut them out when I edit, but um anyways, and I realized it was stronger than usual and it didn't feel right. So I started walking back into where my parents were still eating and then I started feeling heavy, and at this point I was in the arcway, and uh, because of I was feeling heavy, I started falling over, and then I realized I couldn't breathe, and like I couldn't breathe, and then I started to panic even more, and it's like I was because I couldn't breathe, I didn't know what I don't know. It was hard to explain. Like I was I was trying to breathe, but I couldn't. At the same time, I was trying to yell. That's my phone, don't worry. <laughs> I set my phone to a bunch of cat noises, so you might hear those sometimes. Yeah, and I, was, I, was trying, I was trying to yell, but it just became... With whatever air I had left in my body, it became like a... A groan, almost. Like a... <clears throat> like, <clears throat> I can't... I can't imitate it, but it was like, it was very deep. It was like... <clears throat> like... <laughs> I probably look so retarded right now. <laughs> oh my god, this is gonna be like the best Sunday scratch ever for me. <laughs> but anyways, um, and I basically I, I fell on the floor, on my face, almost broke my nose, and passed out. And at this point, I kind of rolled over onto the platform of the staircase because it's like a spiral staircase. So we've got, and it's made out of metal too. And you know how on like transfer trucks on the steps and um, sometimes even the the handles. <laughs> um, 
<laughs> oh, I have a dirty mind. <laughs> um, you know how it's it's like the it's made out of me of uh, I think it's metal, but maybe it's aluminum. I think it's metal, but it's got like the the like the diamond pattern on it or the crisscross pattern like the X's I don't know how to explain it but anyways it's like popped out anyways <laughs> um, uh, it, it, it's kind of like that but it's like black and it's it's a square platform handrails then it spirals down and uh, I started having a seizure while passed out on that platform my parents came over because they heard me groan and they heard the bang when I hit the floor and uh, Basically, because I couldn't breathe, I still wasn't breathing at this point, and my face apparently turned so blue that it freaked out my mom. And uh, she basically called the ambulance at this point because she didn't, like, she's never seen me do that before. Like, she's seen me have seizures before because I had them when I was a kid. And they kind of got under control with meds, and then we tried stopping the meds years later, and then that's when my panic attacks started or apparently they're panic attacks but anyways um, and yeah basically the ambulance arrived also my parents removed me from the top of the staircase they put me on the linoleum floor but um, yeah the ambulance arrived and well I, I woke up when like they had already arrived and it was these two young girls that were paramedics and they're on either side of me and I woke up and I was like where the fuck am I <laughs> like I didn't know what was going on I didn't recognize the clothing they were wearing like I had no idea who they were and then they asked me what school do you go to and I had already graduated gra yeah I already graduated from my high school and at that point I was in uni but I was on Christmas break like I'm, I'm half done uni pretty much and I said I'm going at my high school, which was just down the road from where we lived. And they went, okay. But then my parents said that's not right. And then after a little while, my brain kind of came back into uh, into shape, I guess. And then I said where I'm going. And but they, when they asked my name, I was able to say my name. Because they asked it immediately after, and there was something else they asked. I think they asked the name of my father, and I had trouble remembering it, but I was able to say my name, that was one thing. But I mean, these two paramedics were really hot, like I was actually surprised that they were paramedics, and I don't care what age they were, they looked young, they looked pretty young. but. They, they took good care of me during, like, I, they actually, I actually went to the hospital, they, they put me in the, the, the ambulance, and we went all the way to the hospital, and, uh, I was actually scared, too, mainly because I had a car accident once with my, uh, my friend, and we hydroplane went off the road, the, the truck was totaled, and the reason we hydroplane was because it was, a uh, uh, I can't remember the term for it, but it was a lightweight truck, like a Ford, it was a Ford Ranger, so basically the backing was really light, and we went over a bridge with uh, which had puddles, which I didn't see. Hydroplane went across the road and into the ditch. Luckily, there was no cars that were coming, but the ambulance came and it took us to the hospital, which wasn't that far. The bill was like 900 some fucking dollars, and I was like, what the fuck? And then during this ride. I was freaking out because I was thinking, oh, great, I gotta pay another 900 fucking bucks. <clears throat> but turns out it was only like 200 something. And then I looked at the the form, and it said that if the ambulance, uh, if the ambulance ride is from a motor vehicle accident, it's 900 something dollars. And I think it said something like if you're outside of Canada or if it was, if it might have been outside of Nova Scotia the bill is going to be over a thousand dollars. I found that insane. And uh, then the other thing was, uh, uh, it also said that if it was just from like your home or not 
a motor vehicle accident. And also, I think it said if the cops weren't involved, it was like 200 something dollars, which wasn't bad. But I remember too, during my friend's accident, he, he called on his cell phone, and it was pouring rain at this time too. His phone crapped out after calling the ambulance, and my insurance company paid for a brand new phone for him, which was way better than the phone he had. And uh, my insurance skyrocketed. Like, we're still friends, but I mean, I, I can't, I couldn't believe it. Like, I, I wish I hadn't gone out that night. Or hell, we sh I, I, my friend even asked me, should we go in my car? And I said, no, we'll take my truck, because I was thinking, oh, the truck's better because it has four-wheel drive, but it wasn't activated when we hydroplaned. But anyways, <laughs> enough about that. I went off topic like usual. But anyways, after the after being in the hospital uh, for like a couple hours, I think, uh, we went home. But I was in pain because after having my seizure and being tensed up and stuff, my jaw hurt so fucking much. Like, apparently my jaw was just clenched and it was more clenched on this side. So like right here in where the jaws, the jaw connects to the cheekbone or however it works in there. Excuse me. It was really painful, and like I, I had trouble chewing. No matter what it was, I had trouble chewing. Even ice cream, it hurt. Like you think, oh, ice cream, it's soft. It's basically frozen cream. And <clears throat> I even let it melt a little bit. And I was just sucking on it, and it hurt. Like it was, it was insane. And uh, then the day after, I was decorating the Christmas tree, and I think my, I was decorating it with my dad. I think. And he went upstairs with my dad or my mom, I can't remember. But one of them went upstairs, so I was left alone. And I put... <laughs> Basically, when I was describing it to them, I said, I put my balls in the tree. <laughs> and I turned around, and my kneecap dislocated. So I was I was having a bad couple of days <laughs> during the holidays. And... Uh, but I was fine. Like, I was in pain for a while. But I didn't go to the hospital again. I just sat in a chair for a bit and put some ice on it and I was fine. And I, actually, I think I went into bed for a while. But there's not, it's like the fourth or fifth time this has happened. And it's like the same knee, too. Yeah, I think it's always been the same knee. I've even gone to physiotherapy for it. And it fixed it for a while. And I was fine. But anyways, so that's pretty much what happened. And... <clears throat> I didn't say anything for a little while because I wanted to see how it went, but now I went to the hospital here in uh, where I'm at university, and the doc said that the doctor I went to see uh, before as a kid, basically up until this point, I've been seeing him up until this point, uh, he wasn't doing his job, and like he said that he was saying that anxiety and epilepsy are different but he said that they are the same and he said there has not been one case where they've been separate so basically he hasn't been doing hit the the other guy he hasn't been doing his job hasn't been listening to me and my mom and uh, was somewhat lazy because uh, his files weren't all that organized and uh, yeah, basically he was pissed off and he said, I'm going to take care of you. So he said, he's booked an EEG, which is they hook up a bunch of wires to my head. It, it's painful, like, you think it would be painful because they, they say, oh, it's just a simple little brain scan. But to, they mark with, uh, I think it's like crayon or, or chalk or something, where they're going to put the wires. And they like, they separate the hair, which isn't bad. But then they push so hard to mark where it's gonna go. And I'm there like, oh, what the fuck is going on? Like, it's so painful. When they put the wires on, that's nothing. And then when they take it off, they're pulling the hairs. And then they put this paste on there too with the wires to keep it there. And that's not bad. Actually, when they put the paste on, they, 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 the sticks like made out of metal or something. And they, they push kind of hard with that too. But, um... Putting the wires on isn't bad. Pulling them off, it's pulling on the hairs. And then with the, they take a wet cloth to take off the chalk and the, the paste, which is dried at this point. And 
they rub so fucking hard. It is by the time you're out of there, you have a headache. Like, uh, I I'm not I'm not wanting to go for this EEG, but who knows? Maybe they do a better job. But um, and also I'm going for an MRI because they said an EEG won't detect everything. It, an EEG might even miss some stuff. An MRI isn't painful, but it is really loud. They they even give you uh, like um, headphones like this to listen to music at whatever volume you want, but you still hear the machine going. Like you can hardly hear the music. But <clears throat> anyways, that's pretty much what's happened with my health. But he also described me uh, a better medication, and I find I am having less attacks. Uh, I have actually at this point I have no idea if it is anxiety attacks or if it's epilepsy or maybe it's a little bit of both but um, the meds he gave me seem to be working because I'm having less and they seem to be slowly like completely stopping like yesterday I didn't have a single one like, it was actually after midnight I had a few and I actually had a few after waking up this morning too but like may, probably tomorrow if I'm well rested tonight like if I go to bed on time because I do have to get up early for work, I'll probably not have a single one. And I'm actually happy that it's going this way, and I honestly, I don't give a crap <laughs> if I have to be on these meds for life, because he said I probably will be. What is happening? Why is it frozen? Anyways, I don't know why, but it kind of froze there, so uh, I kind of had to restart it. But what I was saying was, I don't give a crap if I have to be on the meds for life, because if it means my... Uh, attacks are completely gone for the rest of my life, so be it. If I have to take meds every breakfast and every bedtime, so be it. If there are side effects though, like if it affects my thinking, if it affects my eating habits, if it affects my weight, uh, anything, I may ask to change my meds. So it might be a while until we find the right ones. But I'm hoping that these are the right ones, because <clears throat> excuse me, because it's only been like the second time I've took taken them. But right now I've got nothing, so I hope it stays that way. And also the thing with my shoulder, I know I didn't mention that yet, but uh, because rem remember I said during my one big attack that I had to go to the hospital during the holidays there, where I passed out. Well, when I was tense, apparently I pulled a muscle here. And like when I just under the collarbone, when I when I touch it, it hurts. If I put my hand and gently press and go like this, I feel a click. Um, and when I'm in the shower drying my chest off, if I pull down, like sometimes I'll forget that it's actually painful because there's times where it doesn't hurt. I'll when I'm drying myself, I'll pull down on my chest and it pulls on the muscle too, and then the pain just kicks in and I actually yell. And uh, it takes a while for it to go away, but I think this coming Tuesday I'm going to see the doctor and she's going to see what she can do. Um, I don't think I'm going to be in a crutch or anything, but she might describe some sort of cream or um, who knows. But I actually have been putting ice on it when I go to bed to make it calm down, but anyways, that's enough because <laughs> I'm looking at the time and... I'm fairly certain it's been over 50. Thank you guys for watching. I uh, hope you did enjoy. Thank you for listening. I know this was a lot of info, but um, yeah. Uh, I've forgotten how to do my intro. Thank you guys for watching. Feel free to like, comment, and or subscribe. I know I already said the first part, but as always, bye for meow. Thank you guys for watching, and be sure to leave a like if you've enjoyed, as it does help me out a lot. If you like the music you're currently listening to, click the music icon. And if you want, check out my other various social medias by clicking the logos or by checking the description box down below. Also, don't forget to check out my fellow YouTube friends in the list on my channel to the right side. And of course, don't forget to subscribe and be a part of the Clouder today. It's like Chowder, but with cats.